it does seem as if most people continue to believe that we are in the midst of a commodity super cycle and that from here on prices will continue to rise. Uh, we haven't yet seen the peaks. Is that a correct assessment? Uh, as I've always been saying, I think you'll see commodity prices higher than what we've been used to for the last 10 years. Okay. Okay. So it will uh, fluctuate at a higher level. Because uh, what's happening is the demand for a lot of commodities are increasing faster than the supply. I was in a conversation earlier where they said that the ESG transition is requiring more minerals and ESG itself is making sure mining minerals becomes difficult. So I think there are a lot of these complexities that will come on for over the next few years. And uh, do you expect that the rise in prices will be as rapid as we've seen happen over the last few years? Or that at some point in time, maybe 6, 12 or 14 months down the line, it will start to slow down? I think uh, it peaked uh, soon after the pandemic when China recovered fast and okay. the world announced investments in infrastructure, including yeah. India. Right? Uh, then it started settling when this Ukraine-Russia war happened. So I think there have been geopolitical events which has influenced uh, the volatility much more than in the past. Uh, so it's, it was again settling in. But I think the bigger concern we have, for instance, as tea makers, is coking coal prices are still over $500. Yes. You know, it doesn't show any sign of coming down in a hurry. And uh, that's of concern because that's a huge input cost for us. Yes, you too are suffering input costs. Absolutely. Issues.